I didn't go into statistical analysis for money or glory or the chicks. It just turned out that way. I started in Chicago, economic consultant by day, but one night I turned my skills to predicting the future and discovered my terrifying powers. I could see through numbers into the future, so I blogged. I blogged like a fucking atom fucking bomb. Suddenly, I was a web celebrity. Biking with Marcos, smoking weed with Andrew Sullivan, I slept with Ariana Huffington. Not intimately, she's so into the medical benefits of sleep, she takes meetings like that now. Top of the world, ma. This year when people thought Ohio predictive analytical models, they thought Nate fucking silver. I am a golden god! And now, I'm a star. I party with Chris Hayes. And when you party with Hayes, all the ladies want inside the beltway. David Brooks called me a wizard, but not in a good way, which somehow made it all the more satisfying. And the numbers, they still dance. Through election night, God himself was hitting refresh on 538. He just made the universe. I turned it into a graph. Now what's up, motherfucker? But seeing the future has a dark side, I see my fate. Statisticians call it the low hand curve. I know the odds on what happens next. Nate Silver listens to data and I accept my destiny. I got a bar stocked by Maddow, hashish from Bill Maher, and enough powdered mescaline to totally freak completely the fuck out from Stephanie Cutter. Don't ask. Looking truth head on will break you. I'm broken, I'm so tired, but at least, at least I made Joe Scarborough look like a fucking clown who wouldn't understand a pole if it were made out of copper and shoved up his ass. Yes, I'll always have that.